This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, and verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than a golden wedge of Ophir. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhach, Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhach, Budash, Barak, Dumb, to use a quantum, while Akim, Wakwaf, you know, you elders, you brothers, you sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. And of course, keeping faith in Heavenly Father Yahweh and His beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, in these last days, in these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Pshai Ban Yashallah. And it's be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai on praise and fame, the true high valued men, which are the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the men of the Lord, the elect men. You know, that's the true high valued men that's on this planet, the elect men. You know, not these uh, these wicked as demonic celebrities, you know, those that got wealth in society. They're not true high value men. You see that? They're not true high value men. They don't have this understanding, you know. They don't got this wisdom, this knowledge that Yahweh Bashim Al Shai blessed bestowed upon us, started one of the elders and apostles on down. That's not their, their wealth is not gonna keep them um stable when society collapse. Their wealth not gonna save them, man. You see? So right now they have, yeah, they got so-called status wealth you know cars and all of this stuff like that so-called power you know and women attract to that you see and men seek after that stuff like i want that man you know but guess what if if you don't got yahweh bashim al shai that's the whole duty of man fear the most high yahweh bashim al shai and keep his commandments for this the whole duty of man if they if you ain't doing that man listen you don't know your purpose man your purpose is serving yahweh bashim al shai and that's what the, the men of the lord are doing you know, hence the Yahweh Bashim Al Shai gonna look out for his men when society collapse. Bless, bless brother with spiritual powers, divine intervention is coming. Brothers gonna be stable because they got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. The Lord said, "I'm gonna make a man which are the elect men more precious than fine gold." Man, if you're if you're more precious than fine gold, and gold is a a precious metal, man, this is even than a golden wedge of Ophir, one of the top gold on this planet. You're more precious than that, man. You see that? Why? Because of the wisdom Yahweh Bashim Al Shai blessed you with. The understanding is truth. You serving Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you serving your creator. You know? So so um very soon Isaiah 4 and 1 gonna kick in. You know, woman gonna be knocking at your door, your doorstep, grabbing your feet, to, just to be next to you, just for you to, you know, take away the reproach. And guess what? You women gonna get denied, man. You see that? Nowhere in that scripture does it says that man is gonna automatically take you in his arms. You know, open, open arms. Every woman just come on, come with me. No, man. You women gonna begin denied left and right. Brothers gonna see a body count on top of your forehead. 80, 88. What the hell? Bitch, get out of here, man. <laughs> you know? So hey man, in, in America, very few women are making it. You know? So if you if you're a sister out there that's with a man of the Lord and you and you living in the soils of America, that you with a brother that's serving his power, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, you better respect that man. You know, because he is a true, he's the true high value um, man on this earth. Not these niggas that you see on Instagram, YouTube, you know, these different YouTubers, these different uh, red pill guys. And man, listen, trust and believe the Lord deals with the underdogs, man. The men that you least suspect, the men that's on the highways and the byways, week in and week out, pushing his word. Those are the true high value men. Those are the next rulers. Being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai coming for them brothers, man. You see? So praise and fame is coming. Yahweh Bashim Al Shai gonna magnify his elect. You know, let's get the word for um precious right there in Isaiah 13 and 12. So I'll read it again. Isaiah 13 and 12, I'll make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than a gold wedge of a fear. So the word for precious is, is Yachar, right? Yachar, it says, to esteem, be prized, be valuable. You see? Be precious, be costly, be appraised, appraised, man. To be precious, to uh, it says be highly valued. So who's the true high value males? The elect men, the the men that the Most High said, I'm gonna make you more precious than fine gold, man. You see, it's to be esteemed, be costly, be, to be appraised, to make something precious, precious, prized, set by, right, withdraw. You see, to be prized, man, valuable. 
right? Yachar. That's the Hebrew word for it, Yachar, man. So Yahweh Bashim is going to make the elect men precious, man. Prize. And, and it, brothers already got that blessing. Brothers are already prized, but people just don't see it. They don't see it yet, man. But they will very soon because the Mosai said, what? He going to um, magnify his elect. Let's get 1 John 3 and 1. It says, behold, what men of love the Father have bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of the Mosai. And um, the elder Apostle Gabar broke this down through the spirit. You know, sons of the Mosai that literally translate to Yasha Allah, he prince power. That's a that prince of the power. You're a son of the Most High. You know, son of God is um, Yasha Allah, prince of the power. You see, it says, um, therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. So this world don't know us, man, because they didn't. They don't, they don't know the father. They don't know Yahweh Shai. Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High. And if doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we, we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. You see? So Yahweh Shai, man. And it's going to start on this side before he makes a return, but even much more when he comes back, we won't get chained to them perfect bodies, man. And that's what, that's what we're patiently waiting for, man. You see that? So we just got to be patient, you know? And continue wait on Yahweh by Shemel Shah. The Most High said, What? He going to set us on high because he, we have known his name. To get set on high, what does that mean, man? You can be, you, you're set on high, man. You're not a regular, ordinary guy. You're not a regular old Jake out here, man. That's what these people don't realize. You see? Let's see if I get another precept. You know, not make this too long, straight to the point. You see that? Let's get straight to the point. Uh, where is it at? Oh, I'll get this. Praise and fame. I'll get Zephaniah. <clears throat> All right, let's get Zephaniah chapter uh, 3 and verse 19. It says, Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I'll save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out. And I'll get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. And we've been put to shame in all these lands, but how much more in America, Babylon, and great, man? The Lord's, I'm going to give you praise and fame. You see, people, people will bow to us, man, very soon. It says, at that time, will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you, for I'll make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, save your house by mouth shy. You see, in scripture, say what? A, a precious name is better than good ointment. Rep paraphrasing, man. We mean what? Good reputation. A good name better than precious ointment. A reputation. So, what is that reputation going to be? We've been serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in this captivity to the best of our ability, man. And the Lord going to reward us for that. You see? So that's why our scriptures like Isaiah 4 and 1 going to come to pass as well. Because, you know, these, these women going to see the power on the elect men. Because the Lord going to bless his men with spiritual powers. You know? Brothers will be doing miraculous things in these last days. You know? During, and, uh, as a matter of fact, a priest upon that, which I get Isaiah 4 and 1. But before I get that, let's get uh, Kings... Uh, what's it at? Let's see if I can find this right quick. With the um, yep, right here. First Kings seventeen and six. Right, let's get straight to it. You know, cause um, the Lord caused um, a famine to come during the time of, um, of Elijah. You know, you had Ahab. Look at as Ahab. You know, king at this time. All right, the Lord sent a famine. But let's get a point. I want to get First Kings seventeen and um. I'll, I'll just read straight to the point, then also then break up, break down the context, right? It says, matter of fact, no. <clears throat> okay, chapter First Kings seventeen and seventeen, and it came to pass after these things that the son of the woman, because you had Elijah, um, the Lord was feeding him by way of ravens, birds was bringing him flesh in the morning, flesh in the evening, feeding him, you know, during the famine, you know what I'm saying? And then the Lord, once the, the I believe the brook dried up, the Lord set, set up a widow woman for him to go to. Right, he told him where to go, and he he hearkened. The Lord guided him. He 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 um the Heavenly Father had a, a widow woman lined up for him, you know, a woman um and her, just her son, and she was running out of food. And Elijah told her to make him some food, and she basically said, "Hey, that's all I got. This you know we gonna perish, man." But Elijah, don't be afraid. Make make that for me, then yourself, then your son. You know, she fed him, then herself, then her son, and the Lord had it with the food never ran out. After some time, it was reading out. It says, and it came to pass after these things that the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, fell sick. So her son got sick. And his sickness was so sore 
that there was no breath left in him. And she said unto Elijah, What have I to do with thee, O thou man in the most high? Art thou come unto me to call my sin to remembrance and to slay my son? And he said unto her, Give me thy son. And he took him out of her bosom and carried him up into a loft, a loft where he abode and laid him upon his own bed. And he cried unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushah and said, O Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, my power, hast thou also brought evil upon the widow with whom I sojourned by slaying her son? And he shed himself upon the child three times and cried unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushah and said, O Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, my power, I pray thee, let this child's soul come into him again. And the Lord heard the voice of Elijah, and the soul of the child came into him again, and he revived. And Elijah took the child and brought him down out of the chamber into the house and delivered him unto his mother. And Elijah said, See, thy son liveth. And the woman said to Elijah, Now by this I know that thou art a man of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, and that the word of Yahweh Bashim al Shai in thy mouth is truth, man. She said, Now by this I know for a fact, man. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua dealing with you. You're a man of the Most High. You're a man of the Lord. So they're going to know in that day. The scriptures say that in, um, let's see, 2 Edges 16 and 73. It says, uh, let's get straight to it. It says, uh, verse 73, then shall they be known who are my chosen. And if you read shortly above that, it goes into the burning wrath kindled amongst us. You know, people getting cast out of the house against the rest upon those that fear the Lord, being them being like madmen, sparing none, you know, wasting, taking with their goods, casting them out of their houses. But then it says, then shall it be known who am I chosen? People gonna know who Yahweh Bashim is dealing with, whose chosen people are, whose chosen men are. It says, and they shall be tried as a gold in the fire. You see, they're gonna be tried as that gold in the fire. And the scripture say what? Except it's like you um got a um a phone call, but back to, um straight back to the lesson. Um the scripture say what? Acceptable men. In the furnace of adversity, just read that. Sirach 2 and verse uh, 5. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So we gotta go through adversities, trials, tribulations, you know. But the Lord gonna magnify us, He gonna glorify us, man. We're gonna be joint heirs of Yahweh Shai, man. And when the Lord bless with that power, that power gonna start on his side. You know, so who are the true high value men? The men of the most high. The men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Let's get uh a classic. Proverbs 15 and verse 33, it says, The fear of Yahweh Bashim al Shai is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. Right now, brothers being, you know, humiliated, humbled down. You know, hum humi hum humility also goes to humiliation, humble, you know, being lowly. But the Lord gonna um, exalt us. The scripture say what? Before honor is humility, man. So we, we must remember that. You see, remain humble, continue, you know, serving how Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of your ability, brothers. The Lord about to give you praise and fame. You see that? It's going to start on this side. You know, then should it be known who are my chosen? Everyone going to know you're you one of the most size elect, one of the most size chosen. They gonna, but he, he got to be a man of the Lord, man. Look at look everything the Lord is doing for him. Why is he so stable? You know, why is there a famine, but he's eating lovely, man? Why he got water? Why he got some wine? Women going to see the power. They're going to flock to you and everything, man. You see, look at Isaiah 4 and 1 now. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1, it says, And in that day, what day? In these last days, man, society collapsed during Jacob's trouble, great tribulation. It says, And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. You see that? Saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel only. Let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. You see? So, man, listen, they're going to be like, Listen, man. We can eat our own bread, wear our own apparel. I mean, you got to, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna gotta provide for us nothing. You know, their mindset gonna change. You see, that's the mindset changing. They said only this let us be called by your name. And for a woman to be called by a man's name, we, we know what that means, man. Marriage, sex. They want to live with that brother. You see? That's also in Isaiah 32. You know? Because that brother gonna be what? Their protection. And they're gonna know it in that day. Isaiah 32 and verse 2. And a man. Shall be as in hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So a man of the Lord going to be that that uh, that uh great rock in a weary land. Rivers of water in a dry place. You in the desert, but you find some water. That's That water is that brother, man. And what do you think will happen if you're in a desert for days? You're looking for water. You're thirsty. You know, your mouth dry. You, you, your, your lips cracking, you know. 
ashy as old hell. You find some water, man. You can be like, oh my god, yes. You gonna run? You gonna run to that water, man? Dive in that water. You know what I'm saying? Drink as much as you can. Probably swim in it too, man. You see? That's what, so when a when a woman see the elect men when they see, cause they gonna hit they gonna hear about the elect men. You know, oh, you got brothers. You know, oh, you heard those brothers over there. It's, it's certain brothers, man. And they, they, they're Israelites. Those Israelites, you know, the Israelite brothers. They sitting there, you know, um, doing miraculous things. They flying. They raising the dead, healing the sick, doing so much stuff, man. It's a famine, but the Lord is feeding them food in miraculous ways. I seen them my own eyes, man. I seen it. I seen birds bringing food, you know, all type of stuff. They be like, whoo, whoo, how, how you looking? You know, they be like, listen, you you know when you see him. So when our brother rolled through his aura, his vibration, the, his spirit, they're going to just feel it and read it and flock to him, man. So you sisters that's with a brother that's serving Yahweh Hashem Shai in truth and sincerity, stick with that man. Because if you give him a hard time and he ever gets to the point where he's like, man, I'm done with this, man. He just, he kick you to the curve. You through. Because that, you can't go to another brother, another man of the Lord now. Because um, the other men of the Lord going to know. You see, they gonna know, oh, you was with that brother, man. You know, you was, they gonna try. You gonna try to flout to another man of the Lord. And he gonna rebuke you. He gonna be like, you was just with this prophet, this brother, and and they probably those two brothers probably never even met. But he gonna know. How he gonna know the Holy Spirit? Because <laughs> we brothers were all one body, man. We can't kick me my my kneecap, and I'm not gonna feel it. You know, I'm gonna feel it. I'm gonna get kicked in the knee. What the hell? My whole body might react. What the fuck, man? I might jab you my 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 my, my left fist. <laughs> Cause we're one body. We all connect. You know. I use that an example, so you can't try to um, attack one part of the body and expect the, the rest of the body not to react, man. The whole body you gonna feel it, man. You catch pain right there in your knee, you know, you get kicked in your knee. Someone say someone punch you in your face, man. You're reacting with your, with your hands. You know what I'm saying? You ducking and dodging now. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know your feet. You gotta move your feet. Your whole body is, is all in tune, man. You know. So you try to say one thing to one brother, he gonna be like, listen, man. You just with this brother. How do you know? And the brother might even have, I don't, I don't even know how I know, but I know. <laughs> the Holy Spirit, man, that's how we know. So, you sisters out there, that's where the man of the Lord stick by his side and serve him to the best of your ability, man. And the, and the corruptible flesh that you have, because we all got corruptible flesh. We all fall short, we all sin. None of us are perfect, you know, but try your best to serve that man, you know, to the best of your ability, man. And don't give him no hard time when them other women start flocking to him, you know what I'm saying? You better stick by him. You know, because you're going to witness it. You're going to witness women flocking to your man. It, it, it is true. It's in the scripts. You're going to see that, man. It might it may piss you off because you got the westernized mentality, but you better kick that shit to the curb, man. You know, that's power. That's power right there. That shows who, who that shows who's next to you, man. That shows who who's been providing for you. Kiss you on your forehead. Telling you that he loves you and stuff like that. That brother, he he he's the man of the Lord, man. When you see that and that day, that power. You can't, you can't deny it. You're not gonna be able to deny it, man. All these people, all these women flock to him, and not only women, you gonna have men flocking to the men of the Lord for wits, for wisdom, the oil, for oil, man. You know, not physical oil, but the understanding. You see, and that brother, it says, it shall be sought of many and yet not not be found. You know, so people, man, just because you find that brother, don't mean he gonna he gonna you know deal with you. You see. He's not going to deal with you, man. So remember who the true high value men are. Those are the, that's the men of the Lord. Let's get some more precepts. Um, let me see if I can find something right quick. It was something else I was thinking about. <clears throat> I don't know if I can find it. Mm, that's a good one. Psalm 34. Beautiful one. I think I quoted it earlier. Let me see. <clears throat> what is it? As a matter of fact, let me just go straight to um, what I'm thinking about instead of looking right here. All right. Let's look at Psalms 91 right quick. <clears throat> Psalms 91. And verse, you're going to to the point. Verse 15, it says, no, no, no. Verse 14, it says, because he have set his love upon me, therefore I deliver him, I will set him on high because he have known my name. So those got the names, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he's going to set them what? On high, man. It says, with long life will I, no, no, it says, he shall call upon me and I will answer him 
I'll be with him in trouble. I will be with him in trouble. Then troubled times, the Lord will be with this brother, right? I will deliver him and honor him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. You see that? So praise and fame is coming, man. What, man, praise and fame is coming. You know, the true high value men are, are your, the men of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, the elect men, 144,000 on down to the rest of the elect men. You see? So that's all I got, you know, lined up. I'm going to make something, you know, quick, straight to the point. I pray it was edifying, a faith builder to your brothers out there. And you few sisters that's probably dealing with a, a brother. You know what I'm saying? That should boost up your faith, man, you know. It should, but a lot of your sisters, you know, yeah, I got them spirits on you, man. So you hear this topic, you're like, oh, man, you know, you don't want, you don't want to hear it. Because you think you're the prize. But truth be told, the, the men are the prize, man. Not the other way around. This is the scriptures say what? The woman was created for the man. The man was not created for the woman. You see that? You women was created for us, man. You see? You was created to serve us, to please us. You see? You, you women in this today, in this society, got it, they, got, they got it all twisted. Because men, you know, simps put them on a pedestal and they did some fucking hoes, man. A lot of you women, most, majority of you women are fucking hoes, man. And these simps put you on pedestals and you think, you know, you you know, you think you old, you think you're the shit. You think your shit don't stink, your shit stinks, you know. You smell, you smell like a lot of fish, salmon, you know, fish markets and shit. We supposed to put you on the pedestal? Get the fuck out of here, man. Come on now. The, the true prize is the men. The men of the Lord, ultimately. Right? Because like I mentioned earlier, money not going to save these these so-called, so-called high-value men. You know? You, they, man, they ain't going to make it, man. But I'm in it here, and I pray it was edified through the Spirit and Papi Habashim Al Shai. Praise and fame, praise and fame. They gonna know for a fact you're a man of the most high, brothers. Keep enduring, give diligence, make your call election short. I wanna give call line like Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akakwadash, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutation, like scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Without him, I say Shalom, while Baba Ball, Shalom.